I'm William with Alliance Concrete Pump. On today's Tech Tip Tuesday, we want to review the pump volume control uh, function and how to program it. Today I have the scanner ecosystem on this unit here. I have my multimeter um, set up and we're going to show also the pressure. So on here, uh, first things first on your multimeter, you have to make sure you have an amperage setting. So I have this one, the posts can go either on your voltage, your resistance, yeah, frequency, or you put on amperage. So A and common. So we're going to hook into our volume uh, output line. So if you review your schematic inside here, you can see that Y10 is output plus. So I'm going to need to tie into that. We need to go into series to test that. So we got my test leads here. One of them has a little alligator clip, which is handy for what we're doing today. Um, so Y10. It doesn't matter, top or bottom, we can remove the wire. There's a little rectangular slot. You can use your uh, test light here, or a multimeter here. Push that in. So I want to remove Y10 and install my test lead like so. And then my other end of my multimeter, the ground side needs to hook to here. So now we've hooked this into series. So we can turn on my multimeter to the amperage. So this is dual range, DC and AC, so we're on amperage. Right now we have nothing because the remote's off. So if I turn on the remote here, e stop out, we're gonna gain amperage there. So then we're gonna get our pressure. So you can see we have about, at minimum output is where our highest pressure and our highest current's gonna be. So as you dial, for testing purposes, as you dial the remote up in speed, you're going to watch these pressures. So I go to about 55 or 50 percent. We're about just over half the current and over half, just over half the pressure, so about halfway. So you want to see if you're doing any troubleshooting, but we want to be able to see that maximum speed, we have no pressure. And then as we bring that current or that speed to slow it down, we want to see our, our current and our pressure react the same in a nice sweep. So you just watch that those pressures and then and see and watch what's going on. If you ever need to go into do some programming with your volume, so if I e-stop the unit, we're gonna shut it down. We're gonna have our volume pot or volume dial pass 10, like so. Everything in neutral. E stop release, push and release the on switch, and then tap our rabbit button until we see that red light blink, like it is. Now I know I'm in programming mode. It also beeps at you so you can listen. So we wanna be in P002 for programming our current value for um, when we're programming the minimum pump speed. Um, so we want to be able to program these. So I go to P003. Also, I'm going to show my current value there. So if we need to do any programming, we can go through these settings. P004 is not used. Same with P005 is not used. And then we go back to our settings here. So I just wanted to go over how this works when you're trying to do troubleshooting on it. Um, we go into our terminal box. We can go on the valve on top uh, where the test port is. We'll show that, and then we we can see our pressure. We can see our current. You don't need a fancy snap-on or fancy stop gauge. You can go and get a liquid-filled gauge that's maybe zero to 60 bar or zero to 1,000 psi. Do the same troubleshooting. Same with a multimeter. You can pick pick one up. All it has to have is this amperage and uh, a spot you can test this. So we're only doing about one amp. So. If you guys uh, have any questions on troubleshooting uh, or anything with your volume, please give our service department a call. We'll help you out. Thank you and have a great day.